Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back. It's Super Bowl weekend, Super Bowl Sunday actually. And I'm just going to be diving right into it. So here we are in JavaScript's function, introduction of function in JavaScript, section one of three, and what they're asking us to do is I think they're checking up on our um, if statements abilities, but we're about to show them that we are not stupid. Um, so yeah. Console. Balance minus 10. So we have to do it as that. And for the else statement, just print out um, just print out the balance. Press run and it should be good. And yes we are, the, the statement is true so it prints out the statement is not true because 20 is not less than 10. So it just prints out how much money is in the account which in this case is the balance which is twenty dollars and ninety some cents um, so we're just gonna keep going and here it is um, this is really the beginning of functions right here this is what functions fully look like and I'm guessing line three they want us to declare the function and give it name. Let me press run. Yeah, I'm guessing that they wanted us to do it already. I guess. Um, yeah. And here we go. Um, let me go back just to review it. So this is the variable. It's letting your um it's letting JavaScript know that we're making a variable and we're defining the variable, which basically means giving it a name and what's the name is divide by three and this is the value. Function, the parameter is number. Parameter is whatever you want to tell JavaScript to do. Um so it, it does variable val short for value I'm guessing number divided by three and you just log it out now what this all means is down here it has divide by three so you call this back up and you input a value for divide by three and in this case it's six so what it does is it divides number which you just inputted six by three and then it logs it out into the um, into your whatever you're using either like a sublime text or a web browser or whatever and in this case six divided by three is two and that's how it basically got what it got <laughs> I hope you guys could understand that um, my glasses broke so yeah. Um so moving on. What what number three is asking us to do is on line eleven call the greeting function and put it in a name that you want the greeting function to include. Um this shouldn't be too hard. At first I had messed this up it still kind of worked like it took me a while maybe like five minutes to realize it I first it didn't work second it kind of worked but like I got an error third it works not really it was kind of wrong but now let me just show you guys the proper way of doing this there um press run so if you remember what we just did there, we just inputted this and that's pretty much it. Um, I, I tried doing something like this, 
nothing really happened except for the error message and then I tried turning this into a string I didn't get an error message but my name didn't pop up so I just left it alone and if some you guys could comment below if you think you found a way to work it if I'm doing it right comment so we're moving on to the fourth problem set for this section and basically what they want us to do what the heck did I just do basically what they want us to do is declare the function and call it food demand okay. equals right okay so the next step would be to put a console dot log I've already done this by the way it's just I think it's a hassle trying to remember it all um console dot log copy all of this and towards the end we just call it up and remember how I showed you before demand put in the parameter you want to affect don't forget your semicolons that's probably where a lot of mistakes are made semicolons over here and here and here so three semicolons that you have to worry about and I did not do something right what did I not do right um I think I know what I did wrong okay, so over here Change this to apples. There we go. Um, basically, we made a variable. We we gave it a value. Function food. I want to eat. What? What do you want to eat? I want to eat apples. So earlier, before it didn't include this, but now it does include it. Hopefully, you guys can pick that up and here's another one that we this is the last one that we are going to deal with for this video on line 9 it has a syntax error and it lacks spacing which makes the whole debugging harder and that's pretty much what you want to get into a good habit of doing um what you want to get into a good habit of doing is writing beautiful code beautiful beautiful code is short code short code that is simple to identify the mistakes that you are doing so I mean this is really going to be hard because a this is spelled wrong will be a greeting variable this is really hard to do it so hold on so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this easier on myself and just get rid of everything there. Um, it just it, it just makes everything so much easier, in my opinion. Okay, let's finish this up. Some of you guys might actually um realize that I deleted it so I have to pretty much go back to the um, my finished version to see what it looked like do some 
touch it up there. Okay, why is there a... So, um, this is another function, completely different from this function, um, and that's pretty much what I want you guys to all understand right now, because these two functions are completely different. Um, basically, variable, variable name, function, parameter, we're calling the parameter this. So um, what we want to do to access this one instead of this one is basically just call the name. So console.log, am I doing this right? I don't, I don't really know, hold on, it's been a while since I actually did this. I did part of it right. How can we do the whole thing right? basically this greeting let's see how well I know how to do this press run and there we go um as soon as this annoying thing gets off of here okay so we have the we have this whole function over here happening what we want to do is do what we've been doing the whole time greeting basically lets JavaScript know that we want to access this function, this particular one, and we just input the name, um, and which is my name, Henry. Let's say we wanted to use this one up here. All we would have to do is, let's say, calculate, and for the number, all you would have to do is just put 10, and we should get a hundred and there we we got a hundred so we're all good that's pretty much all you have to do in this tutorial add like subscribe check out my group on code academy this is henry1502 inc make sure to like make sure to subscribe make sure to comment i am out